and welcome back to the um, was it episode two? Yes, episode two of the um, Symphony Five API uh, tutorial. Um, we left off last time where we basically just got the um, the home route showing, um, which is excellent. So we're going to now jump right into it. Um, head over to our uh, main.js. Um, so what we're going to do is you, this is optional, but um, I'm going to I'm going to do it for you know um, because I want to. Um, I'll be using uh, something called um, View Bootstrap View or View Bootstrap, whichever one it is. Um, bootstrap View. There we go. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be using this uh, just you know because it will make it look pretty. Uh, you don't have to use it. Um, but uh, I will be. All we have to do is, here we go, um, copy that and hit it into there and it actually tells us what we have to do here. Um, you just import everything basically. Um, you can put them into one uh, but that's fine, we'll just keep it like that. Um, and we will paste it in. Uh, we can get rid of the, the comments like so and there we go. okay um, so that has been um, completed we'll just uh, actually take this out and do it like that um, because it you know makes me feel better um, is it building now let's have a look um, no three errors bootstrap dist um, okay so that doesn't exist Oh no! There we go. Now it's it's woken up, and it's realised they do exist. Okay, great. Um, so for now, that's that's all we need. Um, we'll uh, go into the component. Um, actually, what we'll do is we'll add uh, we'll create a new component, um, and we'll call it the navbar. Navbar dot view, like so. Um, and again, I can't be asked to. Uh, write that all out again so I'm just going to do that and then we're going to head over here and type in navbar um, and just put in a navbar basically just copy one um, see that one looks like really complicated but yeah whatever let's just copy that one like so ah, double click to edit interesting okay uh, so now we can uh, save that and we'll pull this navbar into our project. Okay, um, so now it's building, and if we uh, reload the page, yeah, we go. We're getting a navbar. Um, we don't really need, you know, all of that stuff in it. So let's just modify the navbar now. Um, okay, so what we'll do is we'll delete pretty much all of this stuff. Um, uh, God, it's a really long one. Uh, okay, so let's do it like that. Okay. Yeah, so we'll delete all of that stuff that's aligned to the right. Um, and we will change this. And we'll say login. And we'll say register. Reg is for like so. Let's just check everything's working. Okay, there we go. Um, and we will call this um, API example, like so. Okay, cool. So these don't lead anywhere right now because we've not you know, created those views. Um, we will do shortly. Um, so we can um, get rid of that and we can say two. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to pass in an object here. So therefore, we're going to need to to add a colon to the beginning of it and then in here we're going to say the name and the name is going to be login so obviously this doesn't exist in our router yet so don't worry about that uh, we're just gonna we're gonna create this stuff uh, shortly uh, so the name for this one is register like so okay so now we need to create uh, um, in the router the main router in router main JS we need to just create um, the uh, login and the register paths. So login, um, login. Ooh. There we 
we go, like that, and then log in like so. Um, and obviously we need to uh, pull that in, so we can do it like that, log in, and then just change the name, and we'll just do it for the register because we're already up here, register, uh, like so. Excellent, okay, and then here, register, double click, register, oops, a daisy, register, like so. Okay, so now we have those in there. Uh, we can create these inside of the um, views template. Um, I'll just copy the home one because I can't be bothered to type it out. And I'll just change that to login and uh, change that to login two, like so. And um, open it up, new file, register.view. And then again, register like that. Okay, so now if we refresh, um, those routes should be functioning as expected, and they are. You can see it's changing in the URL. And if we go back to the uh, home page, um, it will show us home. So we've not linked this up to the home, which we can now do. Uh, so we need to go to the nav bar. Um, we can copy one of these because I just don't typing stuff out is ugh. and we can just send it to the home like that so now if we refresh it um, we can go home register login excellent okay so everything is functioning as as it should um, uh, do we need anything else hmm I think for now we're okay um, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to implement something very simple in the store we are going to implement a uh, is loading state okay um, so what this means is you know if there's uh, essentially um, if something is loading um, then uh, the, the screen will um, go uh, you know have a whirly loady thingy whatever the hell it's called um, so we'll create a state is loading and it's going to be false um, and then we'll create um, uh, a mutator called set uh, loading. I mean, you could call it set is loading, um, but I'm not going to. So this is going to be a, a method, um, and it's a mutator method. So you get the state in as the first argument, and then you get the new state, uh, which is going to be the loading state, uh, like that. Um, so basically, when we um, when we mutate it, we want the load uh, state um, is loading to equal the new uh, loading state, like that. Um, so what this means is when we call this, um, we pass in true or false in here, it will change um, the is loading state, which is because we don't want to access the state directly. Um, so that's great. Um, and then we need a getter. Oh, we don't have um, we don't have getters in here, so we need to add that in like so. Give it a comma. Um, right, so in here we need um, uh, get um, get loading loading like so, um, and this will uh, will essentially only need the uh, the state in here like that, and we will return. Um, funnily enough, state is loading. Um, I like this convention of naming, you know, if, if something is true or false and name it is or something like that, um, you can name it whatever you want. Um, there's no, you know, yeah, live your life. Um, okay, so for now, that's okay, that's great. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the app component, All right? So in here, what we need to do is we can uh, wrap this in a, um, uh, it's not auto-completing, B container. Um, so it's just not auto completing, which is annoying. But oh well. Okay, so we're going to wrap it in a B container, and then we will wrap that B container in something called an overlay. Overlay. And this is kind of what I like this this package because it kind of you know does everything for you. <laughs> uh, you don't really have to do too much. Um, so basically, what it does is you know it gives it a loading state, um, which is is pretty cool. Um, so instead of you know calling it each time in every page, we just do it from the main page and then access the um, 
is loading um, from the store. So there we go. Um, we don't want it rounded. We can just get rid of that, like so. Um, show. Okay. So here, what we want to do is we want to change it to is loading, is loading like that. And obviously, this doesn't exist inside of this component. So what we need to do is we need to create um, a computed property uh, um, part or place or whatever you want to call it. And inside of here, we need to um, map the getters like this. And it's a recording a method, and then we're passing in an object. And then that object will be the name of what we want to access. So this is in the main store. Um, and we want to access the is loading state, right? So what this is going to do is it's going to bind with this. And if this is true or false, it will show this overlay. So if we um, head over to the page at the moment, because in the state, um, oh, there seems to be a, an error. OK, because I'm not pulling in the mapped getters from um, Vuex. So I need to import uh, the, uh, there we go, like that, uh, from Vuex, like so. Right, OK. There we go, excellent. OK, so what we have done there is I've accidentally uh, passed in the um, the nav bar into the container as well. So that's we don't want to do that, right? Because we want the nav bar to take up the whole width. Um, so that should fix it. And there we go. So at the moment, there's there's nothing um, there's nothing loading, right? So it's not going to show us that um, that uh, loading state. So what we can do is if we just just to test it out, we can change this to true in the uh, main store. And then if we refresh our application, it should be loading. And it's not. So we need to figure out why that's happening. So let's see. It's giving us an error. Unknown getter is, ah, OK, because I the naming that I used here. Um, so if I go back to the navbar, I put, uh, not the navbar, sorry, the uh, app. There we go. So in here, I said is loading rather than get loading. OK, so there we go. We can see that it's it's now loading. Um, and it's, you know, it's a bit ugly at the moment, but it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, so what we can do is we can change that to false. Excellent. And if we give it a refresh, uh, let it load. <laughs> there we go. So it's now not loading.